Hi there, I'm Jordan Oling, and today my guest is Emily Clark, but you might know her as Pinky. Welcome to the show, Pinky. Glad to be here. So my first question is, how'd you get your nickname? Actually, that I got when I was eight, because Emily is a really common name, and I wore a lot of pink stuff, so I've been known as Pinky for a long time, which is really convenient, considering what I do right. in the fandom. W well, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, so I hear that you are, you were, um, or maybe still are, one of the senior staff at BabsCon. Can you tell us what BabsCon is? I still am. BabsCon is the Bay Area Brony, Brony Spectacular. And um, basically it's just a convention where all the bronies, which is fans of a show called My Little Pony, uh, come together and celebrate, getting to know each other and what they like about the show. That kind of stuff. What does BabsCon stand for? Did, did you already say that? Bay Area Brony Spectacular. Okay. Um, what was your job there as senior staff? What was your job title? My main, I had many titles, but my main job was the concert liaison. So I put together a concert of 22 musicians from literally every corner of the country uh, to come and perform a wide range of music, uh, electronic and uh, acoustic and rock and all kinds of things. So it's really great. It was 12 hours long. 12 hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you have any role in the planning of that? I did all the planning. Okay, right? all the planning. You like figured out who would go win and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, are you? What kind of? Let's let's go to another su subject here. I understand you do cosplay, correct? Oh yeah. What do you like most about cosplay? It's a great creative outlet. Uh, the thing I love the most about it is I love dressing up as someone else and being someone else for a day and really showing my love for cosplays. Of course, co uh, dressing up like your favorite character from a show. Um, so really showing my love for whoever that character is, whoever the show is, by being it is just the most fun. And, and of course with My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, coincidentally there's a character named Pinkie Pie. There is. So you often cosplay as Pinkie Pie. I, I do. I actually have about nine different versions really? of Pinkie Pie. I did not even know that. Yeah. <laughs> Can you describe a few of them really quickly? The most famous one is my gala dress, which, um, Lauren Faust actually signed at BronyCon a couple of years wow. ago, and I wear that a lot. I also wore like a uh, saloon girl outfit of hers mm -hmm. and a couple tutu-based eccentric outfits of hers. <laughs> um, the next ones I have, she does like a cheerleader outfit um, like lined up, so I'll be doing that one. Okay. And someday I'll do all of them. So basically <laughs> anytime Pinky is worn clothes in the show, because yeah. the ponies don't normally wear clothes. Yeah. And if she wears clothes, you might try to copy her costume. Oh, I made her bridesmaid's dress. Great. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> For the royal wedding. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what would you say is uh, any unique challenges to being a female brony in a fandom that's primarily uh, males? It, it's definitely a unique challenge. Uh, often people don't accept that I consider myself to be a brony. They would rather use words like pegasister, mm -hmm. which I think is unnecessary. Uh, I don't like that term. Um, so, but the word brony originated from the letters B and R from mm -hmm. 4chan. Those are the different like dashes. So it right. wasn't even a male term to begin with. It was letters used to navigate right. online. Um, so it's definitely interesting to be uh, amongst 25% of the fandom mm -hmm. is female, um, which is interesting because BabsCon is actually run mostly by women. Mm -hmm. So I guess the 25% of our fandom is 20% cooler. All right. I think, <laughs> I think we have time for at least one more question. What kind of convention work will you be doing going forward? My next convention that I'll be working on is actually BronyCon, and that's in Baltimore. Uh, last year they had about 8,000 people attend. Wow. Uh, and I'll be doing the concert again this year, so um, my job with the concert for them will be more contacting musicians, communicating with them, their needs for travel and hotel stay. Um, and getting their stuff together because there'll be about 16 musicians there. 16. So mm -hmm. that's a little bit less than Bob BabsCon then, right? Yeah. They decided this year to have fewer musicians with more time. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. Cause more time to perform. Mm -hmm. Last year they had people with like 15 minute sets and you didn't get enough out of the people that you liked. So it will be more like 45 minute sets. <laughs> okay. Well, we're almost out of time, but before we go, um, I hear you have a Facebook page, yes? Facebook.com slash pinkaboo link. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Uh, what, what kind of stuff is on your Facebook page? Like, really I mostly briefly? post my cosplay stuff on there because you can't really post uh, the inner workings of a convention. Okay. But all my cosplay pictures, you can bet this fanime you'll see a few new things um, up there from me. And yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come with us today. Uh, yeah. You're awesome. Aw, thank you. You're awesome. <laughs>